Hello guys, so, how am I supposed to start this even? So, as you may or may not know, I got the new iPhone, bitch. I got the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Shout out to iBlasting for the dope ass case. And one of the amazing new features of the new iPhone is the fucking three goddamn cameras. Like, three old ass cameras, what the fuck? Oh my God, are you kidding? Some people were pretty iffy about the way it looked, and by some people, I mean, I was one of them. I wasn't sure if I was into it or not. Mm. When I first saw the pictures, I was like, mm, really? But you know what? I decided I liked it when I unboxed it. It just looks so beautiful. It looks so slick. It looks so just like a high piece of technology. It looks very like, I don't know. It just looks good fucking quality, you know? And I've been playing with the camera a little bit. Just like taking selfies, using the back camera. I tried the night mode once last night, but I want to give this a little bit of a intense ish as intense as i can go review of the camera so i thought for this video we are going to take the camera outside at like a good ass hour take some nice pics and then once it gets fucking pitch black we're gonna actually test out the fucking dark mode because one picture i took fucking amazed me and so i'm ready to test it out a little bit and yeah we're gonna do a little camera test of the new iphone 11 pro max if you know me you know well Odds are you don't. Maybe you don't want to. Ever, ever think of that, Nick? Maybe they don't want to? Yeah, probably. I love iPhones. iPhone's just my thing. I love Apple. I am a sheep. So if you're not into that shit, get off because you won't enjoy this. Um, I'm going to try to make it not biased, but basically what I want to do is test the camera and see how well it works in the dark mode. See if I notice any changes from my old phone. That type of thing. So if you're interested in that or you're thinking of buying the new iPhone or the camera's intriguing you, stay fucking tuned because we got to go test it out. So let's get our shit together and let's go test out this camera because I am ready. All right, let's go. Hello! I'm ready to test this camera. It's kind of a dreary, shitty-ish day out, and I'm gonna attempt to take this picture by myself. So it's gonna be like a double whammy, because you're gonna see how I take Instagram pictures and shit alone. Okay, it's really loud because I'm at this like waterfall area in my town. Literally everyone and their fucking dog comes here to take pictures when they think of taking pictures. Oh, I'm going down this hill and I might fall. Hold up. And so I thought this would be a typical easy spot to take pictures at. And I thought it'd be cool to test the wide angle lens at and maybe a bit of the portrait mode. And then later, once it gets darker, we're going to go to another spot and test out dark mode. I don't even know. I don't know if it's called dark mode. Is it night mode? Dark mode? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Ooh. I had to run down that hill or I was going to fucking cave. Yeah, if it's loud, it's that waterfall in the background. I'm sorry about it. I have my tripod with me. I look like a fucking idiot. I'm gonna take a picture. That's what I look like. It's because I don't have my handheld tripod, I don't know where the fucking piece went, so I can't attach my camera. And also, I need my tripod for my ratchet phone setup, which I'll also show you. But yeah, let's test out this camera because I'm excited. Okay, let's go. So first, I'm gonna take just a few like scenic shots to show you the difference between the regular camera, the telephoto, and then the wide angle, okay? So let's start with that. Okay, I just took a few shots of the uh, like falls back there, whatever you wanna fucking call it. And and the wide angle looks fucking cool. You definitely get so much more in the picture and it just gives like scenery shots a whole like cool kind of look. And then the regular camera obviously is amazing as usual. It looks super crisp and clear. I already noticed that it's more sharp than the XS Max was right off the bat and I haven't even, like I'm not even comparing a picture. I can just tell it's already crisper. And then the telephoto is what I expected. It looks a little sharper than the other one but it's still kind of like grainy and blurry. Um, but that's expected when you're using zoom at all, so. But one thing I will say is with the wide angle pictures, I definitely noticed they're not as crisp. They're like, it's not as good of quality as the regular camera, which is kind of weird because you think with the wide angle, you'd be capturing more, but you're farther away. So it might be a little bit better, but it almost looks a little distorted and like fuzzy. So not the best, but it still looks cool, you know? This is my super awesome professional <laughs> selfie setup. I have this little magnet attachment thing that's supposed to be for your car. Um, I got it from Ranvu and it's like one of those things you put a magnet on the back of your phone 
and then it sticks to that. But my genius ass stuck it inside of my pop socket because I didn't like the way it looked on the back of the phone. And so I put my phone in backwards in an old case and then I can use the back facing camera to take pictures. Like, am I a genius or am I a genius? Let me know, am I a genius? Is this trash? Is it really fucking ratchet? I don't know, let me know, it works. So joke's on you. And then what I do is I go on my watch here and then I connect the camera to my watch and I can take pictures directly on my watch. So I, that's pretty genius if you ask me. And then I can also see like the setup of the picture if I like it, if I need to move, all that kind of shit. So yeah, we're gonna try some wide angle pictures and we're gonna try some regular pictures and portrait mode pictures. So let's get started. Okay, so um, portrait mode was kind of difficult, taking them on self-timer because my watch for some reason isn't showing me my frame, so I can't see what the F I'm taking a picture of. But right off the bat, I do notice it is a lot more crisp. It's more sharper on the edges. It did struggle a little bit around a little more detailed spots. Like there's one spot in between my hat and my hood that aren't the greatest, but it still looks super fucking sharp. Like I notice a huge difference in the portrait mode now as compared to previously. And it almost looks like they upgraded how the focus works because it's almost like less focus in the near, closer to the camera, and then even more unfocused in the back. So it almost mimics a DSLR camera's focus a little more than it used to, which is pretty, honestly, not gonna lie, pretty fucking impressive. And you can also, I don't know if you noticed this, but you can, you could do this on the last phone too, but if you want, you can adjust portrait mode to be as blurry as you want it to be or not blurry, so that's a bonus, love that, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm testing out the 4K front-facing camera video on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Just looking at this, damn, it looks pretty fucking pretty. You can see that big ass bug bite that looks like a zit on my head. I went and took pictures of my friends and my friend's family last night, and the bugs look goddamn awful. So now here I have some bug bites on my head. That's great, it looks like zits, but it's not. Okay, cool. Let me know how the audio sounds. It might be shitty. I could be holding it weird also, but it might sound shitty because of the falls. But so far it looks really good. Wow, I'm impressed. It looks super crisp. I'm, I'm looking at myself, but like, because I want to see more. So let me know what you think of the video. Well, how does it compare to my camera? Because my camera doesn't even shoot 4K. What does it look like compared to that? This is the front facing 4K camera. Now let's do a little switcheroo and take video with the back facing. <laughs> Okay, back on front facing 4K. The 4K video on my phone anyways, I don't know how it's gonna look when I'm editing it. Maybe I'll insert a little note if it's not bad. Looks super crisp. It had a really good autofocus um, when you touch the screen especially. Yeah, it had really good focus. And I noticed when I went up close to my camera, it like almost blurred the background a little bit, which I wasn't expecting on a phone camera. So that's pretty impressive. I didn't notice it had a wide angle video option. And again, that looked a little not as crisp as the other thing, but I guess if the pictures turn out like that, you can expect the video to turn out like that. But I'm interested to see what it's gonna look like on my computer compared to on the phone. Let's skip on over to nighttime and we're going to test out dark mode tonight and I'm super excited. I only tested it once in my front yard and the bitch blew me away. The fuck, I, I don't know. It was pitch black in my front yard and took a picture of my tree and it looked bright and clear and colorful and I was just, I was in shock. So I'm excited to try the night mode. So let's get on to nighttime. Magic of editing. Let's get on to nighttime. Um, Wow, I love the magic of editing. Okay, we're in the pitch black. This is my friend. This is, <laughs> you can't see shit. This is the lake, it's literally pitch black. It's pretty cloudy out, so it's not light at all really. So I'm gonna see how night mode works in the pitch black. Can you see me at all? Yeah, yeah. big old fucking heads in the way. I just touched the screen like it was an iPhone. Okay, that did not really work. That one's not too great. Okay, so it's not working too great. The water ones are not working, so let's... Can you see the trees out? You can no. kind of tell, but like not what? really because it's pretty black. So... Oh! What? Yeah! That's cool. You literally can't see anything over there in the camera. That's actually so cool. Like, it's pretty fucking dark. Like, you can't even see her in there. Like, hello, this is my hand. <laughs> pretty dark. There was no flash. <laughs> Whoa! There was I'll also flash. Put, there is no flash, babe. Let me see. 
That's so cool. <laughs> it's fucking it's so dark out here. You can barely see her in the back there. You can kind of see my vehicle lights, but it doesn't really do anything over here. Okay, I'm gonna try a few. I'm gonna try a few more, and I'll insert them, and you'll see what they 